Welcome back. This is the third video in our Encore Time Master video series. This one is for the reports function. For the reports, we can create reports that we can email to ourselves with an HTML email, or we can just look at the results on the screen. So let's dive right in. There's different types of reports you can generate. You can generate one that includes time and expenses, just times, or just expenses. The dates, you can choose by the date picker and pick what, what dates you wanted. Or you can use our quick pickers for today, this week, or last week. And this week and last week will respect the day of the week that we put in our setup. So if it was running Tuesday through Monday, it will reflect those days. We can look at last month, handy for billing for the previous month. And this month will show us what we did this month. You can also have pick specific clients, projects, tasks, expenditures, or any of the attributes that you may have selected in any of the expense records. Okay, well, I'm going to flip over to setup real quick just to talk about one thing here, which is the email settings and the default to. If you set this default to, this is where your emails will be sent as a default and we'll save that and we have strip carriage return line feed what that will do is if you had happened to hit return in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard in any of the text entries this will Keep, take this carriage returns out of there so that if you import that data into a spreadsheet program such as Excel or Numbers, it won't wrap the data onto the next line and corrupt your data on the spreadsheet. That's checked by default. And then the last part is export fields. This is all the fields that we have in the database and you can turn them on or off. The type is the t time entry or expenditure. Let's say we don't want to see that. Let's say we don't want to see the, the codes because we're not using those. And we don't want to see uh, the attributes. And let's say that we wanted the reference purpose, but we want that up above and we want that right after the client. So that tells us where the description right after the client. Okay, and now we'll go back to reports and I'm going to generate this report. And as you can see, here's the reports for this month. Here's the CBS ones that we worked on. And if you click on it, you can get a breakdown of your time entries and expenses. And you can even get details and view the actual entry by pushing on that. So we'll go back to here. And as you can see, you have the total amount for your billing time and then your total expenditure time. Okay, we're going to go right ahead and email this when you email this it takes the data and it brings it out to Apple's mail program so you can see now it filled in the two up there it sends a time master report and here's the data from the fields we have the date the client the reference purposes the projects the task duration rate and total and we can send that and we're all set